It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Felice Herrick and Raquel Pennington. Born and raised in Colorado Springs, Colorado, here is Raquel Rocky Pennington. Counter out at your own peril. She was idling in the UFC Bantamweight division for some time, but then strung together a four-fight winning streak capped by a win over Misha Tate at UFC 205. Raquel Pennington has vaulted into Bantamweight title contention. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to block and parry all of the different techniques that are coming her way. So here's the perennial strawweight contender, Felice Harris. She started kickboxing essentially right out of high school in 2003 and never looked back. Turned pro in mixed martial arts in 2009. Purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Has an outstanding submission game, but is known primarily as a Muay Thai practitioner, a kickboxing fighter who sets a furious pace and has the stamina to stay with it. Felice Herring fighting as always in the memory of her late brother trying to get it done here tonight this girl has outstanding defense and very good blocking technique it's so difficult to hit her cleanly it is a big advantage for her and she has so much confidence in her defense because of that all right just about ready for live action here is tonight's tale of the tape Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. At the weight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighter. Out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. The mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lerbunga. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Here we go. What a career renaissance for Raquel Pennington when she lost to Holly Holm in 2015. Not a lot of people thought she would vault into contention, but with four straight wins, that is exactly what Rocky has done. None bigger than the win over Nisha Tate, a night on which Pennington put it all together. We'll see if she can do just that once again tonight. Trying to take the back here. All right, first round is underway now, and you got to watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. Full mount. She's got the back mount. There's a nice left hand. Oh, big shot. There's a nice right hand. Oh, hammer fist here by Herrick. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Beautiful sweep. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Herrick. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Pennington. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Excellent movement here on the ground. In half guard. She's moved back to full guard now. Big shot from the bottom. Excellent posture. Back to half guard. Yeah. 
Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, she connected flush. She's in full mount again. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, looked like an elbow there from the top by Raquel Pennington. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Eric getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. She's showing good defense here. She's got that arm trapped. Oh, in reverse. Trying to spin to the back. She's moved into side control. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Harry. She's attacking with an arm bar here. It looks like she's got that arm locked. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Break the grip. It's getting tighter. This could be the end. Oh, and there it is. Won the fight by armbar. Beautiful job. Yeah, she couldn't have drawn it up much better, Joe. And just the way she transitioned in her grappling to first secure the arm and then torque it to get the submission finish, that is a big, big result here tonight. And here's the end. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds in the very first round. He's going the winner by tap out. So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Claudia Gedalia and Holly Holm. So here is the Albuquerque, New Mexico native and Jackson Wink MMA staple, former UFC bantamweight champ, Holly Holm knocked out Ronda Rousey back in 2015. Little adversity since, but Holly Holm, whether it's 135 pounds or 145, still very much a force to be reckoned with. This girl has ridiculously impressive lightning fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you can face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. A Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt under Andre Pedernaris. Here is the former UFC strawweight title challenger, Claudia Gadelha. When she's on, she can very well be the best 115-pound fighter in the world, Joe. This is a fighter who can truly do it all. Now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico, as she continues to round out what is already a very impressive MMA game. This girl is one of the best in the world for throwing fighters to the ground from the clinch. Tying up with her is a serious liability. She is so good at utilizing that clinch and dragging fights to the ground. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. It's a busy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, four losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly the Preacher is the Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Claudia Gagella. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, New York has been all the rage, but this was a place we visited quite frequently over the last several years. Good to be back at the crew, the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey, as we get underway. Well, she, oh, oh, the body. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Now goes in and secures the takedown. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Big punch from the bottom. Good shot from the bottom. Joe, she's doing a nice job keeping busy here off of her back. Hammer fist. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Nice punch there by Goodell. Good punch. Goes upstairs for an elbow. She's got that ground and pound going now, Joe. Well, that's been a big weapon for her here tonight. Another big elbow by Gedalia. Good shot to the body. Tries to pass, but can't. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Nice. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Holly Holm. In half guard now. Well, she got her head snapped back. Oh! This could be it! Nice leg kick.
guard position. She moves into full mount. Under a minute now to go on the round. Well, you gotta try to stay busy after your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. 45 seconds to go here in round one. She's now back in full mount. She's looking to set up an arm bar. It looks like she's got that arm bar locked in tight. Look at this though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. That's and a wrap, that folks. Will do it. Round's about to end. Sunk in that submission and got the victory. Yeah, Joe, you've got to admire her focus and her commitment to getting a finish here tonight. She wanted to leave the judges out of it. And you saw much earlier in that round, she was going for that submission, but it didn't materialize. So she didn't rush it. She allowed her skills and her setups to take over. And ultimately, she knew the submission would come, and it does there late in the round. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Claudia Gadelia! All right, so congratulations to Claudia Gadelia proving yet again to be the class of this 115-pound division. She has plus skills in every phase of the game, and her striking is really starting to catch up to her offensive wrestling game. And when Gadelia is on, as she was here tonight, best of luck to her fellow strawweight contenders. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Rowdy Beck Rawlings and Amanda Nunes. The UFC women's bantamweight champion Amanda the Lioness Nunes, don't let the smile fool you. You do not want to get in a cage and have them close the door with you and Nunez. Power and aggression for days. Training on American Top Team in South Florida. She has realized a lifelong dream in becoming the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. This girl is a true takedown expert. She has a full arsenal of takedown techniques, and it is her specialty. She is so good at closing the distance and utilizing spectacular takedowns to bring her opponent to the mat. Here is the aggressive ninja, Rowdy Beck Rawlings, wildly popular across her native Australia. She was born in Tasmania. Now splits time, though, between Australia and Southern California, where she trains under Eric Del Fierro at the famed Alliance Training Center there in Southern California. At times, Beck Rawlings, who is aggressive, has gotten off to a slow start. So that's the focus coming in tonight for Rowdy Beck. Get off to a good start. Get ahead on the judges' scorecards tonight. This girl has outstanding hand speed, lightning fast punches that come from all angles, and she gets out of the way before you can hit her back. She's one of the most difficult fighters to face in this division. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist on a professional record on 15 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Malaga, Amanda! A 
and now losing her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of seven wins, seven losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Brisbane, Australia. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So here's the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Amanda Nunes. Ten wins by knockout, another three by way of the rear naked choke. And it is a case of pick your poison when you're fighting Amanda Nunes. You don't know exactly what she's going to lean on here tonight. Very interesting to see this matchup here tonight between Nunes and her opponent. Back to over under. Nunes has got the tie clinch now. She moves to the tie clinch. Double under hooks in the flesh. Rollins gets the early takedown. Trying to take the back here. Full guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. Now the hammer fist here by Rollins. She gets her back. She executes a very nice sweep and winds up in guard. Well, she ate a pretty good hook shot to the body there, Joe, and now she's gonna have to be careful moving forward. Her opponent has gotten a pretty good read here tonight. She has been vulnerable because she has leaned in. Let's see if she lowers the guard now here to prevent further damage by that hook. Slightly deflected. And she lands a nice kick. Oh, strong punch there by Rollins. Oh, oh Joe, good left that hand. is a massive left hand. Nice takedown. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to spin to the back. And she's inside control. And now she transitions to north-south. Back to side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Full mount. She's now working from side control. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. It looks like the submission's locked. This is, could be it. This Kimura is very tight here. She might be forced to tap. Outstanding. Beautiful technique, setting it up, and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Keats called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. To playing the winner by tap out due to a Kimura, Rowdy Oh, well, how 
How good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward. It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Jermaine Durandamy and Alexa Grasso. Representing Lobo MMA in Guadalajara, here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, one of the youngest women on this UFC roster. But when you look at the credentials, age doesn't matter. She's had some injuries in the past, but when Alexa Grasso has been healthy, she has been one of the best strawweights in the world. Brazilian jiu-jitsu blue belt, but an outstanding striker. Three of her four knockout wins in 36 seconds or less. Not the fight during which to get a cold one. Alexa Grasso back under the bright lights tonight. This girl is one of the very best defensive fighters in the sport. She is so good at blocking strikes and so difficult to hit cleanly in a vulnerable area. Her blocking technique is something that all young fighters should watch and try to emulate. So here is the first UFC women's featherweight champion and the first Dutch woman in the UFC, Jermaine Durandamy. This is an outstanding Muay Thai practitioner, Joe. World class, 10 world titles in Muay Thai in which she compiled a record of 46-0 and the fight against Holly Holm, the inaugural featherweight championship fight, didn't earn any bonus money, but it did earn her the goal. We'll see how she chooses to attack here early. This girl is one of the best in the business at holding fighters down, controlling them from the top position, and beating them up. She's so good at holding position and keeping fighters where she wants them to be. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. She's at five feet, five inches tall, weigh in at 115 pounds. Alexa Grosso! Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighed in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of you, Trent, the Netherlands, Jermaine, the Iron Lady. Begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's and go. we are underway. All right, we are ready to go for round one. So, of course, is the Mexican phenom, Alexa Grasso. Now, her career began with three first-round knockouts, all of them in 36 seconds or fewer. As the challenges have gotten stiffer, she has been a little bit more deliberate, a little bit more patient. We'll see how she chooses to attack this obviously strong challenger here tonight. Durandamy gets caught with that punch. All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not, the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop it. Good counter. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Well, she ate the straight hand there, and she's got to be careful now, Joe. I know she wants to be aggressive and set up her own offense, but she left the head wide open for damage there. Big hook to the body. 
Hits the left hook. Hits home. Faints with the punch. Oh! Kick to the face. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? This could be it right here. Oh, head kick! How about that shin? And now starting to snap off that jab. That knee might have landed there. Nice hook there by Grosso. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. That one hurt. Misses a huge hook to the head. And there's a nice jab. Big punches. Excellent head movement. Splits the guard and connects there. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Nice jab. Inside leg kick is there by Durandum. Big kick lands. Knee to the body. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in round one. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Grasso. Beautiful timing on that leg kick. Oh, nice. Big shot to the head. She's stunned. She's hurt. That's a hard effort. We'll see where she goes from here now. This could be it. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Huge elbow, elbow there. to the head. Vicious ground and pound elbow. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Inside control once again. Big shot. Half guard here. She's stacking her. And they're down on the ground. Inside the guard, right away. Oh, man, I love it. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Grosso. Battle for position here. Double underhooks. She's keeping busy here on the clinch. Knee to the butt. Now she's able to get that tie clinch, Joe. Oh. That knee might have landed there. Back to over under control. Nice jab. Good job of timing strikes here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, good defense here to stay upright after that single leg takedown offering. Trying to take the back here. Oh, she tagged her with the right hand there. Side control. Wait, wait. Round two next. So how about that round? Back to the stool. Confidence has to be high. That's a good five minutes from Durandum. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Let's look at that from another angle. Let's see it one more time. Catch your breath, breathe, listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that, I want it. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual.
Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together the way she has done in previous UFC appearances. Let's see if her corner can help her adjust and try to get an uptick in the volume and ultimately get her opponent out of it. Nice shot. Missed that shot. Well, she's got to check some of these leg kicks, Joe. That left thigh is really starting to bruise. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, man, she moved right into that hook shot, Joe. Not a good look. Her head was wide open there for the taking. She's got to not lean into her opponent's striking range like that. Get back on the tip of your toes, circle out of harm's way, and try to make the defensive adjustments. That one hurt. Good punch. but miss. Duranami gets caught with that. Oh, she got rocked again. This could be it right here. Big knee to the body. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm in range. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Grasso. Oh, she got stuck again. This could be it. with that punch. She's in the mounted crucifix now. She's going for that arm. That arm looks locked to me. Now it's deeper. She might have to tap here. There's more and more pressure on that arm. That's and it. There it is. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bermiata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 2. He's going the winner by tap out. Jermaine, the Iron Lady, Iran!
Well, they say if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. But in all seriousness, we congratulate the former UFC featherweight champion, Jermaine Durandamy. Massive spot for her here tonight, and she emerges with flying colors. This is her division, 135 pounds, and there is no overstating how big a win this was for Jermaine Durandamy here tonight. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, it sounds trite, but they say sometimes the best offense can be a good defense, and the cliche certainly applies here. She can stick and move with the best of them, and she's not afraid to hang in the pocket because she can do so without taking significant damage. She has frustrated some truly high-level opponents with her ability to stick and move and get her head off the center line. This girl has excellent footwork. She is very difficult to get a hold of, very difficult to keep up against the cage, and her footwork, both moving in and out and side to side, are outstanding. She's very difficult to catch cleanly and excellent at closing the distance and landing her own strikes. Well, as she makes the walk here tonight, she's probably thinking right now, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because if I can get through the takedown defense, I don't think she's getting up for the duration of the round. Her top game is scary good. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, you can sap their willpower and their gas tank. You better be able to stop her shot tonight. If not, it can make for a short night at the office. This girl is so good at taking fighters to the ground from the clinch. She has a full arsenal of takedowns and throws from the clinch. Tying up with her is a dangerous proposition. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. You should see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler. Making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet one inch tall. Weigh in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. Band Band. I now introduce her brother. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding the best record of 11 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Well, going to be back at the crew here in Newark, New Jersey as we get underway. Getting the hands going here early. Ooh, that's a powerful body kick right there. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Calderwood. Axe kick. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Oh, lands that punch. Wow, what a kick. Big shots. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Big she body shot. Her body. She secures double underhooks here. Look at this. Take down. Half guard. Reversal. Reversal here and into full guard. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, 
hammer fist here by Calderwood. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Switching stances here. That strike blocked by JoJo Calderwood. Avoids the clinch here. She goes for the hook now, it's there. And Calderwood's kick to the body, that one blocked. Well, she left her body wide open, Joe, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Calderwood's knee strike here is blocked. Doing a nice job covering up there. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Calderwood gets caught with that punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. She moves to north-south. She's attacking with a Kimura. Got a very good Kimura. That is just an amazing technique. And this might just be a matter of time. And this she's out. Will is, wow, is really that was close. Full guard here. Perfectly timed sweep. Very nice sweep wound up in her guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to full guard. Very nice. Changes her stance. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by JoJo Collier. Big left hand there inside. She is brawling for sure. Man. Blow. She heard it with that. This could be it right here. Nasty combinations here. Tying up here in the clinch, looking for openings. Boy, tie clinch here, Joe. Could be trouble. Foot stomp there by Calderwood. Oh. Good knee work by her. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Absolutely. Oh, she's got the over-under now. The kick gets through. Establishing the jab here. 30 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, double jab. Strong takedown defense there, Joe. Single leg attempt, no good. Check that one. Oh, oh, the big elbow. Elbow. So there's the horn. The round is over, and for her, it couldn't have come at a better time. That keeps her in the fight, folks. She got knocked down near the end of the round. You got to think if there were 10 more seconds, she might have been concussed, and that would have been the end of the fight. So saved by the bell there, she now has 60 seconds with which to recover. And here it is from a different angle. Okay, good. Drink some water. Relax, okay? Not a big deal. We've been knocked down before. It's okay. We're gonna get back up. We're gonna be off. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Good punch. She slips that left hand there. Well, that left hand. Oh! This could be it! No! Oh. oh! She might try to finish this fight here. This could be it right here. Good control here. 
the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. Half guard. Nicely done, reversal. Trying to spin to the back. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Cole. And again with the hammer fist. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations. And it's going to take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. Oh, and she gets the takedown. Big right hand. Ah, very, very, very nice. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. She's now established side control again. Now she's in half guard. Back in the mount. This is crazy. Hip escape, nice hip escape. And back to the mouth. JoJo Calderwood gets caught with that punch. Making all these shots count. Calderwood gets caught with that punch. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. Big That's right hand. Right hand. Hard uppercut. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse for her, Joe. What a wild exchange. Knee to the body. Oh! Oh, very nice. Two minutes now to go round two. Big oh. shot to the head. She's hurt. Oh. She is stopped. Very nice sweep. She winds up in guard. Now she gets her back. And now she's got full mouth. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mouth. Nice sweep. Excellent sweep. Under a minute now to go in the round. Double leg is good. Beautifully executed sweep. She's attacking with a rear naked choke. Trying to get that arm under the chin. Looks like she's got that rear naked choke locked in tight. That choke was tight and she got out. Impressive. Side control. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She moves to half guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. She's now in north-south again. She's got the choke. She's got the choke. It looks like this submission's locked in for her. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round, and we'll see how she deals with this cut on her cheek. It is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that goes without saying. The cut man will try to nip it in the bud and prevent it from becoming more of a factor here moving forward. And let's check that out from a different angle. Let's get your act together now. You've been down this road before, and we're going to overcome this. You're down in this fight. Ariane Celeste is with us.
Third round underway. Good defense there. How about that shin? Oh, this is not good. That left eye starting to close up. And she connects there. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Nice inside leg kick. Oh! This could be it. Oh! Wow. Oh! Oh! She's, she's, she's out the fight. She's, she's, she's out cold. She threw a large volume of strikes all night long, and this bomb finally lands for the knockout. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, Joe. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number three. Find the winner by And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus, I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. You know, it's one thing to take your opponent down. It's another thing to keep them there and control them on the ground. She knows exactly how to do it, and that's what really has led to a lot of her mixed martial arts success. Get the takedown, control her on the ground, and sap their willpower in the gas tank from there. You better stop the shot against this young woman tonight, because if you don't, problems. This girl has incredible takedowns. Her takedowns are spectacular. She's so good at closing the distance and throwing fighters onto the ground. She is an expert at bringing fighters to the ground. Well, as she makes the walk here tonight, she's probably thinking right now, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because if I can get through the takedown defense, I don't think she's getting up for the duration of the round. Her top game is scary good. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, you can sap their willpower and their gas tank. You better be able to stop her shot tonight. If not, it can make for a short night at the office. This girl has ridiculous power in her kicks. Her kicking technique is supreme, and she is one of the best knockout artists in this division with her legs. Look for her to try to stay on the outside and utilize those extremely powerful kicks. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist holding the professional record of seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexandra Stitch. Your opponent fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler. Make your professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of London, England. Boom, boom. And the action begins for looking in charge of her team. So her being third man in there for this one. We are underway. Huge uppercut misses. 
Nice. Wow! Big knee! Body kick, look at that! done there by Albu. Just missed with that right hand. Now a knee to the body. Here's a shot deep. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Now closes the distance. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Reversal and into side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Side control again. Look at that transition. She's got full back mount. Into side control again. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Into north-south again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She's moved into side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, nice. Damaging punch lands for her there. Just missed with the huge kick. Joe, nice job moving that head off the center line as she slips to avoid that right hand. And here we see the leg lock attempt. which is the most devastating type right there. Oh, that's nasty. And her leg is free. Wow. Straight right hand, but she misses. Oh, effective strike there by Albu. Well, she got kicked flush to the body there, Joe, right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard. But it almost looks as though she's moving right into it. So until she makes the adjustment... Oh, man. Like that's that, it. That, she's out. Oh, wow. What a knockout. And here's the end of the fight. We can see it one more time. Look at this huge straight punch that causes the KO here. Check it out again. Right on the button. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop in this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout, Alexandra Stitch Well, there are a few greater highs in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon but she took it a step further tonight. Massive knockout victory. No TKO here. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive high-profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the big KO tonight.
It is a bantamweight matchup between Kylan Curran and Joanna Yomjacek. Long-time Muay Thai practitioner who has realized so much success since crossing over to mixed martial arts. Here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Yim Jacek. She has ruined so many women in this 115-pound division. There may not be a more complete, talented striker on this UFC roster, top to bottom, than Joanna Yim Jacek. This girl has monstrous knockout power. It's one of her biggest assets, and she is extremely confident in it. She will step forward towards her opponent, knowing that one of her shots is all it takes to close the show. Well, this young woman has a great skill set, but certainly it's the striking defense that comes out when you watch the film. She'll use movement and defense to set up her own offensive angles, but she'll hang out in the pocket because she's so confident in her ability to stick and move and get her head off of that center line. Really as good a defender of strikes as we have in this women's division. This girl has a ridiculous chin, and a chin like hers is such an amazing asset to have. She can take shots, she has massive confidence in her ability to take shots, and she stays in the pocket and lands big bombs with her counter strikes. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Four years apart, with similar height and the same reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weigh in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Yorona Yachesha. And now for this year opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 4 wins, 6 losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at an Eva Beach, Hawaii, Kylan Kohler! And the action begins, I want to be charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Big kick to the head. Whoa, head kick. Oh, big kick. Now she's got the tie clinch. Double underhooks now in the clinch. We'll see what she can do with it. All right, hammer fist here by Kylan Kerr. Trying to take the back here. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, look at that! Look at that transition. Hammer fist here by Guillaume Jaichi. Mount again. Rip that hook to the body. Well, she left her body wide open, Joe, and as such, she paid for it there. Beautifully placed and landed kick to the body. Let's see if she makes the adjustments here defensively to avoid absorbing any more kicks to the body. And they are exchanging leather early. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch by Kern. Big punch. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Wow. 
Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice knee. Oh. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. And there's a nice kick. Effective punch there by Yeon Jaichek. And her knees in the clinch are outstanding. Yeon Jaichek's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Works the double underhooks here. Oh, so there's a trip to get the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. She moves to back control. Just over two minutes now to go. She's in half guard now. Good defense there. Nice jab, follows her up with a nice right hand. Working on a single leg here. Oh, and down. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Current's got the double underhooks here in the clinch now. Battling for hooks. She transitions to the tie clinch. Oh, back to the knees now she goes. Those are good. That knee might have landed there. Good left hook. She locks up the plum. She's got the tie clinch here. And there comes the separation now. Oh, she lands another strike to the body, Joe. She's really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the body. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, big shot! This could be it right here. Oh, huge shot there. Wow! Oh! 30 seconds to go. seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. She did a real nice job there avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Big knee. Oh, very nice. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the horn sounds at the end of that round. A big one from Young Jacek. Two huge knockdowns. Big, big moments in that round. And here a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Deep breath in. Boy, relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Nice punch there by Yoani Yon Jacek. Lands with a knee. You know, Jacek gets caught by that straight punch, or so it appears, Joe. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues. Oh! This could be it right here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Battle for position here. Nice takedown. Jacek's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Nice sweep. Full mount. She moves into the back mount. Mount again. 
safe escape. Gets out of the full mount. Reversal. Very nice. She's now transitioned to full guard. Very nice sweep, and she's right on top inside control now. And back to full guard. Trying to spin to the back. She's in full guard. Look at this reversal. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is gonna take strikes in bunches to get an opponent of this caliber out of there. Let's see where she goes from here. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Oh, she blocked the kick there, nicely done. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. That knee might have landed there. Oh, she goes to the patented trip there to get the takedown. Well done. Just reached the midway point of the fight. She gets into full guard here. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Took the back mount. Mount again. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. That's a nice clean shot. And very effective with the ground and pound. Lands with the left. A series of punches from the top here by Curran. Good fight here under two to go. Gets the elbow up into the target. Pretty significant well the left side. Moves to half guard. Struggling in the clinch here. Curran gets the over on. She's got double underhooks. Curran gets the takedown late here, Joe. This is a strategy you see out of a lot of high-level fighters to try to maybe sway the judges by getting the takedown late in the round. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Curran. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Excellent sweep. She establishes full mount. All right, round three oh, coming up fuck. next. Okay, take a seat. Breathe. Listen, that was awesome. I need more of that. I want you to go out of the. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste is here. Punch by Curran. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. 
She blocks that offense, Joe. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. She's got her up against the cage. She gets double underhooks here. Oh, oh how about nice the slam there. That one cannot feel good. Now she's in full guard. Beautifully executed sweep. In full guard here. Perfectly timed sweep. Full mount. Nasty combinations from the full mount. And full back. Back to the mount again. Hammer fist. Well, Joe, these ground strikes are really starting to pile up. Outstanding ground and pound work here by Kylan Curran. Good shot to the head. Oh, elbow to the head there by Curran. She gets back control again. She's working from half guard. Straight. Curran's kick to the body is blocked. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ooh, she's got double underhooks. In the clinch now, nice trip to get the takedown, Joe. Perfectly executed sweep, and she winds up in side control. The kick lands. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really... Wow! This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Big elbow! Strong kick there. Well, she may need to drop the elbow, Joe. Look at the bruise on the side of her body. Of course, you drop the elbows, you open yourself up. Oh! This could be it! Huge uppercut misses. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, Joe, she talked a lot about finishing this fight and taking the judges out of it, and she couldn't have done it much better than that. She caught her opponent flush with that kick. Full force, full extension, and that spelled the end of the night for the opposition. And when it comes to her highlight reel, Joe, this is the top of the list. This is exactly what she needed here tonight. Let's see that again. Bam! Out cold. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the Ladies official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, decision. referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna Yachechen. All right, so congratulations to Ioana Jacek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. What can this woman not do inside an octagon? She is a master of making in-fight adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses to her advantage. Certainly doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA on this UFC roster, top to bottom, than Ioana Jacek. All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight tilt between Maureen Renault and Michelle Waterson. A lifelong martial artist here is the affable karate hottie Michelle Waterson. Had to deal with some injuries in her career, but when she's been healthy, she has proven to be one of the best 115-pound fighters in the world. Big fight against Rose Nama Yunus. Huge win over Paige Van Zant. Karate hottie, very much a factor here at 115 pounds.
This girl has outstanding top control. When she gets an opponent down, she punishes them and she keeps them there. It's one of her best abilities and one of her best assets. She's just so strong in the top position. You know, it's one thing to take your opponent down. It's another thing to keep them there and control them on the ground. She knows exactly how to do it, and that's what really has led to a lot of her mixed martial arts success. Get the takedown, control her on the ground, and sap their willpower in the gas tank from there. You better stop the shot against this young woman tonight, because if you don't, problems. This fighter is one of the best in the business at bringing fighters to the ground. One of her best assets is her ability to utilize all the different techniques of takedowns, whether they're throws or trips or singles or doubles. She can do it all. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. The mixed martial artist holding professional record now. 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Karate Hockey, Michelle Waterstein. And now introducing her opponent. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on eight wins, three losses, and one draw. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. No. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Oh, she landed that punch, Joe. That one hurt. Nice one-two there. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Clean punch. She blocked the punch. Nice punch by Renell. That's again the experience. Waterson gets caught by the straight punch. Trademark inside leg kick there by Renell. Just missed with the left there. Fast pace here in the early ground. Well, she got kicked flush to the body there, Joe. Right underneath her elbow, right underneath that guard. Oh. Big left hand! This could be it right here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Vicious combinations. Oh! Huge shot there, lands flush! They're certainly getting after it early. Nice! Oh, huge right hand! Right hand! This could be it! Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Body kick, look at oh. that! Leg kick checked by Waterson. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Waters. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose was just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. She tagged her again. She heard her. This could be it right here. And a knee. Hard straight punch. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Renault? Nice shot. Renault gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. How about that shin? In on a double leg takedown here. 
She got cracked in the head. She's stunned. This could be it. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Vicious shot to the body. Big knee to the body. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, good power left kick. Nice. Back and forth we go. Oh, she moves right into that head kick, Joe. Not a good look for her there at all. I'm not sure how many more of those she can take, quite frankly. She's got to figure some things out here defensively. Nice. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Renault. Oh, big right hand. Oh, very nice. Good defense there. Outstanding output on both sides. Big straight punch. Joe, nice. She got tagged again. She's hurt. Oh, she got blocked again. This could be it right here. Huge Lands a big left, left hand. hand. Oh, straight right. Good shot. Watterson's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Hard straight punch. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Looks like she's got an arm bar here. Throws the other leg over the face. That arm looks locked up tight. Five minutes in the books. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out draw. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. Checked. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body work would be a big cornerstone of her game plan in this fight. And you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, that absolute... Oh! This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Very nice. Big left. The left hook hits home. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Visibly limping here. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together. Oh! oh big huge hit! This could be it! Big shots! Big, big body shots shot! Body. Again with that body shot. I'm telling you, that body oh. shot is nice. This could be it right here. Good defense there. Oh, she got stunned again. Oh. Head kick there blocked by Renault. 
Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Oh, oh. good kick. She's stunned. This could be it. some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes oh! on. This could be it right here. Oh, oh, nice. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Body kick, look at that. Oh. This could be it. Oh. Wow. Jab. Well, she has certainly landed a high number of total strikes here in round two. She got the message from the corner to pick up the pace, and maybe it was just a matter of finding that striking rhythm, finding her range. She has certainly found it, Joe Rogan, here in round two. How about that chin? Nice knee to the body. to the rest of this division. That is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near-perfect execution. And that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. All right, we now go inside the Ladies octagon. The Here's Bruce Buck. Buck. Four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Karate Hockey, Michelle Watterson. So the Karate Hottie, Michelle Watterson, with another shining moment in the octagon here tonight. Her fighting style almost as infectious as her smile, and this effort absolutely outstanding going to be very interesting now as we spin this thing forward to see who she draws next but tonight you can be sure everyone at jackson wink mma including michelle will celebrate this one all right coming up next it's a women's bantamweight matchup between claudia gadalia and beck rawlings Well, she fought Carla Esparza for the Invicta FC title several years ago. That fight went the distance. Beck Rawlings still trying to get untracked inside the octagon. Certainly has some big wins to her credit. Most notably, the first-round submission of Lisa Ellis back in 2015. But she's got to let the hands go. And when she does, this is a devastating striker. Training under the great Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Beck Rawlings trying to get off to a fast start tonight. 
This girl has a ridiculous chin. You never see her get hurt. You never see her get knocked down. She's one of the best chins in the business. And because of that, she has extreme confidence in striking exchanges. Well, she's been primarily a grappler and a wrestler thus far in the UFC. Here's the former strawweight title challenger, Claudia Gedalia. But you remember the fight against Jessica Aguilar back at UFC 190 when she landed more than 100 significant strikes. So she can also strike with the best of them. Now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The striking is catching up with the grappling on any given Saturday night in Claudia Gedalia. You could be staring at the best strawweight on the planet. This girl is a true takedown expert. She has a full arsenal of takedown techniques, and it is her specialty. She is so good at closing the distance and utilizing spectacular takedowns to bring her opponent to the mat. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Phantom Weight Edition. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of seven wins, seven losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Brisbane, Australia. Rowdy Beth Rollins. And now introducing her opponent. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Claudia Gagliela. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. That one hurt. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Nicely done here in the early going with the takedown. Right into the mouth. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Gedalia. Brutal strikes being landed from the full mount. Big punch from the top. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Tried to move from half guard into side control, denied. And she's in full guard. Big shot from the bottom. She's stacking her. Full guard. Excellent posture here. Oh, good right hand. Superman punch now. Landed that one. Very nice timing with these shots here. Going for the single leg right now. Oh, and down. Transitions to full guard. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Again, full mount. Look at this. She's attacking that arm. She's got that arm bar locked up. It's very close here. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Break the grip. Incredible. And that was absolutely incredible. Beautiful technique in winning this fight by arm bar.
Yeah, near perfection for her in terms of the execution of that arm bar. She worked to isolate the arm, eventually secured it, and the tap came shortly thereafter. So a big win, and it goes in the books by way of the arm bar here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Claudia! All right, so congratulations to Claudia Gedalia proving yet again to be the class of this 115-pound division. She has plus skills in every phase of the game, and her striking is really starting to catch up to her offensive wrestling game. And when Gedalia is on, as she was here tonight, best of luck to her fellow strawweight contenders. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, as she makes the walk here tonight, she's probably thinking right now, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because if I can get through the takedown defense, I don't think she's getting up for the duration of the round. Her top game is scary good. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, you can sap their willpower and their gas tank. You better be able to stop her shot tonight. If not, it can make for a short night at the office. This girl is so good at taking fighters down from the clinch. You see fighters tie up with her and then immediately go on the defensive because she is trying to throw you, she's trying to trip you, she's trying to take you to the ground from the clinch by any means necessary. Well, she was the first Dutch woman in the UFC, and she will forever go down as the first UFC women's featherweight champion, one of the best strikers, man or woman, to ever grace the octagon. Here is Jermaine Durandamy, 10 world titles in Muay Thai, 46 professional Muay Thai fights, GDR, the Iron Lady, set to compete again tonight. This girl is a very high-level striker, unpredictable angles. She will throw punches and kicks with vicious intention, excellent hand and foot speed, very good striker, and very good takedown defense as well. And she will need that to try to keep this fight on the feet. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this woman is a grappler, making a professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting for the Columbus, Ohio, and man. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of you, Trent, the Netherlands, Jermaine, the Iron Lady. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready, fight. Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix. Wow!
excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Beautiful sweep. She's inside control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Nice reversal here. Tries to pass, but cannot. This is crazy. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Reversal here. Nicely done. Clean hammer fist. Full guard here. on the elbow. Well, Joe, I know she's got a lot of faith in her chin, but that is not a good look. She's just leaned right into that uppercut there tonight, and she paid for it. Left the head wide open. Let's see if she can make some adjustments here moving forward. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Into half guard again. Trying to move into side control here. Denied. Very nice sweep. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, and reversed. Well done, sweep, and winds up in guard. Work. Trying to take the back work, here. Work. She's now in full guard. Looking for a guillotine. Looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. Look at that. That is high level ground game there. Getting tighter. Outstanding. Oh, no! Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, they get the desired result here tonight, Joe. You know she's been working hard on her submissions, and clearly it played out that way here tonight. A near-perfect setup on the choke. She clearly got it sunk in deep and ultimately forces her high-level opponent to tap out. Crazy turn of events here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us on to this contest at 2 minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Jermaine, the Iron Lady, the Anthony. All right, so the Muay Thai stylist Jermaine Duran to me puts on a striking clinic tonight and gets her hand raised yet again. She really does have an infectious way about her, and it's nice to see Jermaine now exhale, share this moment with her coaches and teammates. And big picture, this win figures to really propel her forward at 135 pounds. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Raquel Pennington and Alexandra Alpu. Well, it sounds trite, but they say sometimes the best offense can be a good defense, and the cliche certainly applies here. She can stick and move with the best of them, and she's not afraid to hang in the pocket because she can do so without taking significant damage. She has frustrated some truly high-level opponents with her ability to stick and move and get her head off the center line. This girl is a very well-rounded mixed martial artist, and the advantage to that is she's comfortable no matter where the fight takes place. If her opponent wants to stand, she's comfortable there. If her opponent wants to try to take her down, she has excellent defense. If the fight goes to the ground, she has an excellent ground game. So she is fully well-rounded, and because of that, 
she is much more confident no matter where the fight takes place inside the octagon. Riding a nice winning streak here is the UFC Bantamweight contender Raquel Rocky Pennington. She's had a knack for coming up in big spots in the biggest fight of her career, UFC 205, a domination of the former champion Misha Tate. Now we'll see if Pennington can take it to the next level. Still under 30 years of age, Rocky Pennington back under the bright lights tonight. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to block and parry all of the different techniques that are coming her way. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexandra Stitch Apple. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, ready to go here with live action as we get underway from the crew, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. You know, Joe, not a lot of people envision Raquel Pennington as a future Bantamweight contender when she came off of the Ultimate Fighter, but through hard work, dedication, and a constant focus on improvement, that is exactly what Raquel Pennington is here as she approaches the prime of her career. Pennington trying to make it six straight wins as she takes to the octagon tonight. Left kick to the body. Oh, wow. This could be it. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. How about that chin? Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown beat? Well, she ate that straight punch to the head, and she's got to be careful here. She has shown a vulnerability by leaning right into her opponent's range. Got to find a way to get that head off the center line and do better defensively here. Big power shot there. Another one. Rock him, suck him out of the suit here. Nice. Oh! There's a single attempt. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Trying to spin to the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Very nice sweep. Full mount. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nice shot to the head. And mount again. Full mount. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. Back to full guard again. Pennington looking to secure a guillotine. She's got that guillotine locked up tight. That choke is deep. Any second now. She and there it is. Oh. Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. Yeah, Joe, hard to find any fault with her execution there down the stretch. She set up the choke perfectly, clearly had it sunk in deep, 
and her opponent got to the point where she was gonna go to sleep if she didn't tap out. So the tap comes, and no bigger win than the one she just turned in here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Raquel Raquel Oh, well, how good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Joanna Jacek and Michelle Waterson. Training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Enter the strawweight contender, the karate hottie, Michelle Waterson. She has been kicking and punching since she was a very young girl, and now she is taking her shots at the mixed martial arts elite. Michelle Waterson, thought by many to be a woman who eventually will work her way to a strawweight title fight. Got to take care of business, though, first tonight. This girl has amazing cardio and stamina. It is one of her best assets. She keeps a very fast pace, and you can literally see opponents start to wilt in the second and third round when they're being forced to try to keep up with her. Man or woman, you are staring at one of the most skilled and talented strikers to ever grace the octagon. And a scary proposition to the rest of the strawweight division because Joanna Young Jacek is only getting better now training under American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. This girl has incredible takedowns. Her takedowns are spectacular. She's so good at closing the distance and throwing fighters onto the ground. She is an expert at bringing fighters to the ground. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Yeon Jacek is 30. Watterson is 32. Yeon Jacek will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record on. 14 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Karate Hati, Michelle Waterstein. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 1 loss. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yelchak! And in the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? We are ready to go with round one here. 
littered across the UFC record books. Here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Gion Jacek. Four career wins by knockout, but she has broken a lot of fighters inside the octagon. Ask Jessica Penne about the power. Joanna Gion Jacek really is decorated and complete a striker as there is on this UFC roster. Fainting with that kick. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. Oh, that kick is good by Gion Jaicek. Huge uppercut misses. Those punches are very hard. Well, she got clipped by that hook, Joe, and she is a sitting duck if she's gonna stay in her opponent's striking range. She's gotta get on the tip of her toes, circle away from the power shots, and move those feet. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, solid jab. Looking to avoid that left hand. Nice Man. head kick. Oh, this could be it. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Watterson's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. They'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Good punch. Just missed with that huge kick. Watterson gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Nice. and forth we go here. Straight right hand, but she misses. Nice punch. Oh, head kick. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice one, two there. Hook in the clinch there by Gion Jaicek. Nice shot to the body. Oh, wow! This could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Misses a huge hook to the head. She blocks that offense, Joe. And you do really want, what is it going to take to break someone like Young J check? You can take her down, knock her down, and still fresh as a daisy. Goes for the head kick, but doesn't connect. Oh! Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Bush! That one hurt. Well, she left her head wide open there, Joe, and she pays for it as the head kick lands up top. Got to figure out a way to get that head off the center line and make some adjustments here, or the end of this fight could come in the not-too-distant future. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice kick to the body by Young Jacek. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Oh! Oh, nice jab to the head there. Oh! Good defense there. The horn sounds for the end of round one.
All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. Back and forth we go. Both fighters landed knockdown strikes in that round. We'll see which corner can maximize these 60 seconds between frames. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here we see some excellent striking. Great power on that punch. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. You ready? You ready? Second round here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue... Oh! This could be it! Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Exactly. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Oh, nice punch there by the objection. And she caught the kick. She blocks the shot, Joe. Nice inside leg kick. Lands a strike there. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Well, she almost moved right into harm's way there as the body strike lands. Can't leave your body that wide open if you want to stay in this fight. Look at the same with that punch. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. Pretty good knee oh! to the body. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh, she tagged her. She tagged her again. She hurt her. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, stunning jab. Oh. Nice body work for her here, Joe. She slips that left hand there. Splits the guard, can oh, with the punch oh, there, Joe. This could be it! Big shots! Beautiful hook! Oh! oh. Catches oh, the kick there, Joe. Again. This could be it right here. Body kick, look at that! Huge kick, misses! Oh. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. She got tagged again. She's hurt. This could be it right here. Oh, big shot! She has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Beautifully timed and placed kick there. Oh, this could be it. Oh, she tagged her. She tagged her again. She hurt her. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Now under a minute to go in the second round. 
excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. She gets her back. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Excellent movement here on the ground. 30 seconds now to go in the round. That one hurt. Good shot. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh! That's it! Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe, I'm not even sure I believe what I just saw. I was looking forward to the next round, and maybe her opponent was too. Instead, she ends up on the canvas looking up at the referee in her face, so a huge shot to get the knockdown, and ultimately the referee stoppage comes just at the end of the round. Crazy, crazy knockout here tonight. And let's look at that from another camera angle. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You got to feel pretty good for her, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has got to stop for this contest. At four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna All right, so congratulations to Yolanda Young Jacek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. She's just a master of mixed martial arts and making adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses against them. Doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA, but another vintage effort out of Yolanda Young Jacek. It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Claudia Gadelia and Jermaine Durandamy. So here is the first UFC women's featherweight champion and the first Dutch woman in the UFC, Jermaine Durandamy. This is an outstanding Muay Thai practitioner, Joe. World-class, 10 world titles in Muay Thai in which she compiled a record of 46 and 0. And the fight against Holly Holm, the inaugural featherweight championship fight, didn't earn any bonus money, but it did earn her the goal. We'll see how she chooses to attack here early. This girl has outstanding kicking technique. It is one of her best assets. Ridiculous power in her legs. They come fast, and when they land, they have devastating impact. She is one of the best kickers in this division. Well, following a dispute with Nova Unyao, her longtime training camp, Claudia Gadelia, former UFC strawweight title challenger, now training out of Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Also has her own school now in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. This is a five-tool, well-rounded player in this strawweight division. Joe, when she is on, she looks the part of the best 115-pound fighter on the planet. This girl is such a well-rounded fighter. She has a full arsenal of techniques at her disposal, and because she's so well-rounded, you never really know what she's gonna do. Excellent takedowns, but excellent striking as well. Very good submissions, very good submission defense. She literally can do it all. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding the best record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, Jermaine, the Iron Lady. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding professional record now. 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Claudia Gadella. And in the afternoon, the referee in charge, Herbert Dean. 
Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. All right, so here she is, Cloud Gadelia, as we get ready to go with round one. She's been a fast starter in the UFC. Most of her fights have gone the distance. Cardio for days. She'll be shooting for that takedown here early. Oh! Look at this, takedown! Beautiful left hand there. Good control, postures up. Oh, Gedalia's hammer fist is blocked. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She's in north-south. Oh, look at that. All right, she's going for the arm bar here. It looks like she's got that arm bar locked in tight. Throw the leg over the face. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. That's it. And That's that it. We'll do it. Great job. Didn't waste any time. Took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Well, Joe, can't say we're all that surprised, right? She told us during fight week that she needed to work on her overall efficiency. She wanted to get this fight to the ground early and often. That is exactly what she did. And maybe the submission win came even earlier than she expected it to, but a near-perfect performance out of this young woman here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you got to think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Claudia! Well, that just might be the best strawweight fighter on the planet right there. A big win and a major statement made yet again by Claudia Gadelia tonight. She continues to make great strides with her head coach, Chris Luttrell, there in New Mexico. And Claudinia certainly put all the skills together tonight. Congratulations to Claudia Gadelia. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Raquel Pennington and Joanna Yomjacek. Longtime Muay Thai practitioner who has realized so much success since crossing over to mixed martial arts. Here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Young Jacek. She has ruined so many women in this 115 pound division. There may not be a more complete, talented striker on this UFC roster, top to bottom, than Joanna Young Jacek. This fighter is one of the best in the business at bringing fighters to the ground. One of her best assets is her ability to utilize all the different techniques of takedowns, whether they're throws or trips or singles or doubles, she can do it all. Well, you first saw her on Team Tate on season 18 of The Ultimate Fighter, and then went on to beat Misha Tate, the former champion at UFC 205. Here is the Bantamweight contender, Raquel 
Rocky Pennington, and a classic example of what hard work and dedication can do for a fighter. She was sort of up and down a little bit early on in her UFC career. Something clicked. She won four in a row to vault into bantamweight title contention. This girl has amazing top control. She is so good at keeping the fight on the ground. Once she gets you there, it is very rare that you see her lose positions. She's just so strong in the top position. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Pennington is 29. Yeon Jacek is 30. Pennington will have the two-inch reach advantage. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding professional record of 14 wins, one loss. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Yorana Yachesha. At now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the left corner, a freestyle fighter holding professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighter out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? And we are underway here live from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Well, you can expect the punches and bunches. Here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Yolanda Gion Jacek has a knack for breaking a lot of fighters with her pace, with her work rate, with her output. As good a striker as there is top to bottom on this roster, Poland, oh! Unbelievable. All right, so here we go. First round is underway. She is a submission specialist, so look for her, Joe, to go for the early takedown. She's gonna wanna take this fight to the ground, really at all costs, to try to set up one of her submissions. Look out for the arm, look out for the arm. It looks like she's got that arm pretty tight. It's very close here. This is getting tighter. She might have to tap. Outstanding. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters. And that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Raquel! So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Claudia Gedalia and Raquel Pennington. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. 
She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best man of weight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunter for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Smirgliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who does it push? Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Presenting the challenger, Raquel Rocky. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for you. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Right. I'm very excited. Right. All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion tonight? Let's find out. All right, so round one is underway after her last fight. You heard Bruce Buffer say, and still, UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. She is trying to have him say it again here tonight. She is unquestionably the number one 135-pound fighter in the world. She has successfully defended this belt in the past, and she believes here tonight she's on a different level than the number one contender. We'll see if she can prove it here and turn those words into actions as round one gets underway. Looking to pass. Big body punch. All right, first round is underway now, and you got to watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. Oh, nice punch there by Penny. Tries to get out of full guard and in the half, but doesn't make it. Trying to spin to the back. Nice punch to the body. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. She's working from side control.
excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, looks like she's setting up an arm submission now, Joe. It looks like she's got that arm locked. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. And there it is. It. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again, beautiful submission victory. So there she is celebrating with her corner, the queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And how about the method of victory tonight as she gets it done by submission? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Sheriff in town, Joe Rogan. There she is, the woman who will be all the rage now with the MMA masses, the new UFC women's bantamweight champion. And it's one thing to come in here and rest the belt away. It's another thing to come in here and submit the champion the way she did tonight. So if you think the corner's celebrating a little bit too much right now, I would respectfully disagree. You guys have certainly earned that much. Congratulations to the new UFC women's bantamweight champion.